A good chance to get a good look at Jared Anderson, the American heavyweight prospect. And for that, we go to Mark Chanel. This is Boxing, this is Top Rank, presented by Bob Arum in association with Antonio Leonard Promotions. This fight is brought to you by GEICO. The following bout is scheduled for six rounds in the heavyweight division. Judges at ringside, Patricia Morse Jarman, Max DeLuca, Steve Westfold. Men in charge in the ring, Mr. Jay Nady. Fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 218 and one third pounds, wearing white trunks with gold trim. He brings a record of eight and two, with three wins coming by way of knockout from Sarasota, Florida. Please welcome Johnny Langston. Across in the red corner, he weighed in at 236 and a half pounds, wearing silver trunks with wet red trim, a record of three and oh. All three wins coming by way of knockout from Toledo, Ohio, Jared, the real big baby, Anderson. Come on, six rounds, obey my commands. Good luck, touch gloves now, let's go to work. So Anderson Langston in that ring that is sanitized each and every time there's a fight, they wipe it down, they clean everything. Of course, the fighters, the cornermen, all the staff from top rank to the production crew of ESPN, the security, the commission, everybody tested, quarantined at what they termed the bubble at the MGM Grand. And of course, as you know, fanless atmosphere, but you can be part of the noise tonight because we're using Hear Me Cheer and you can use it on any device to have your voice heard live during our broadcast. You go to ESPN.HearMeCheer.com, ESPN.HearMeCheer.com, and we will use your reaction, your voice, as the fan noise for these fights. <laughs> Langston is a solid opponent, good sturdy stance, not a lot of power, decent jab, oftentimes he'll flick it, but he should give the young fighter, Jared Anderson, a little bit of a test tonight. So much more than what we saw Guido Fianello in against with Don Hainsworth, who was dismissed in one round. Exactly. I don't know if I believe that, Dre. I don't know if I believe that, Dre. He said in the fighter meeting, Langston, I'm talking about, that he only sparred one time, oh, look at Anderson. seven rounds to get prepared for this match. As Langston is opening up wide with those punches, and it was giving Anderson an avenue to deliver a right hand. Now he digs to the body, as does Langston. And there's a good body shot, right hand from the undefeated Ohio native. Raining down right hands for a moment. Big baby Jared Anderson. Yeah, I want to see good exchange from both Anderson guys. Right take his time a little bit. Good exchanges. I want to just see him take his time and set up the attack. You know, he feels that Langston is in trouble. He's bagging him up. But I love. I would love to see Anderson set up his shots, place his shots. It's hard to tell him that, Tim. He's 20. He's got all the first round knockouts. He's trying to get another one tonight. Three straight first round knockouts. Minutes ago in round number one here for Anderson. Undefeated American prospect. Right uppercut reined in and split the guard there against Langston. And then he digs to the body with a right hand again and turns it into an uppercut and then lands a left hook. Boom. You know, it's such an intimate setting with this fanless atmosphere and the sound of the thud of the punches is just dynamic, isn't it? Yes, it is, Tess. And Anderson right now, yes, he's having his way, but the thing is he's taking some offense from Langston on the way in. Good body, the body came back up. That shot the right there is going to be the difference maker in this fight. Yeah, Anderson is not just head hunting. He's going to the body, and that's going to catch up to Langston, even though this is only a six-round fight. He's going to feel that. Punishing attack by Jared Anderson put forth here at round number one. Goes to the body of Langston again. No, that was his punch. Well, this could, 
This could be a name we're talking about for years to come. The 20-year-old heavyweight prospect, Jared Anderson, in the silver and red. Big baby, the undefeated 20-year-old prospect from Toledo, Ohio. In that first round, he landed 16 of 60 power punches thrown. Take us through this combination. Test, this is a beautiful combination right here. I haven't seen this in a long time. You know what, he digs down to the body, and what that does initially, it brings your opponent forward because he has to brace that body shot, and he was lifted up with a short uppercut after that, and then a sweeping left hook. Great combination by the young, talented Anderson. Yeah, I like how Anderson dropped down as a big 6'4 fighter, six, six feet, four inch fighter, to get that shot. It was what he did before he threw the punches that impressed me. He has landed 46 of his, 46 percent of his power punches so far. Box. early on here tonight. So this is what I was talking about in the first round, fellas, that Langston will test Anderson. I'm not saying he'll go to distance. I'm not saying he's going to beat him. I'm not going that far. I'm saying he'll test him, and he'll take some shots, and he'll hit the young fighter back, and that's what you want for a young fighter. Just want to clean up the copy box numbers that were being recalculated as I was looking at the screen there. To this point right now, Jared Anderson, he was 26 of 55 in the first round, 27 of 60 overall in Power Punch Connects. That was a good example, though, with that combination we showed. And now you see some steady work with the jab. Six foot four, 236 pound, 20 year old. You know, you say a now 20 year old, exactly. Ray, and I think about a heavyweight, a guy who's, you know, naturally big to begin with, a guy who, in, in many generations recently, would have maybe ended up a defensive end in football, but he stayed the course and had boxing as part of his entire youth sports life. Has he fully even gotten his man strength to him yet at 20 years old? He's already 6'4", 236, and looks pretty good. No, no, no. He looks good right now, but he, he I don't mean this in a bad way, but he's still got a baby body. He's 20 years old. Let him get 23, 24, yes. 25. You get what you call man strength. It's a different look, and it's a different feel for the opponent. He's not there yet, but he's on his way. Right now, Langston is absorbing punishment. Round number two here from Anderson. Looking for that uppercut again as he wobbles back as he gets Langston in trouble here. Half minute remaining in round number two. It's just right a matter of time. Been Langston with Langston is leaning forward. Digging him down to the body, took, him, take, took the air up right out of the sails of Langston. Doubles up with the left hand to the body. Then goes with the right uppercut and that left hook combination that you enjoyed earlier. <laughs> Joe Tim and Dre calling Jared Anderson. Johnny Langston here, round number three. Harris Anderson with a 51 to 32 connect advantage to this point. You know, we asked him the other day what makes him different from the other heavyweight ball. prospects, and he said his speed and his agility. But the other thing he said, Timmy, is his mind. He has a lot of confidence in his boxing IQ. You know, that's what it takes to be a great fighter. You got to have a great mind. He has great ability. I, I can see that right away. He switches southpaw right now, showing us a different look. But he's also taking a few shots. So he's on to get a little bit better with his defense. Go to that corner over there. You know, let me look at it. Tess, you can't give up defense for offense. And occasionally that's what Anderson is doing. Southpaw stance, he digs with the right hand to the body. It's a left hand power. Anderson punch. got hit with a shot because he landed a he's landing good body shots, Tess, but he's raising right back up into the punch. And a guy like Langston knows that and he's catching Anderson on the way out. Langston clearly affected by that left hand moments ago. Digging to the body, then comes upstairs. Halfway through round number three, Langston looks very weak on his feet. Bent over right now as Anderson is plowing into that flank. 
trying to land an uppercut, see if he can close the show. Langston has not looked good at all. That is it. TKO victory, Jared Anderson, round number three. He threw 130 power punches and landed 68. In that third round when he closed the show, he was 24 of 40 on power punches. He got hit right in the lip with a, the with a guy's forehead. Yeah. Yeah, Tess, anytime a fighter lands more than 50% of his power shots, that just means it's, it's a knockout. And that's what we had tonight, stoppage. Went a big knockout, but it was a stoppage from the referee. Saw too much damage being done to Langston. Who's got it? Here we see Anderson's got Langston in the corner, and he's just pounding on him. I would have liked to see Anderson take a half step back to give himself some room. He didn't do it. That'll come up the road. In the meantime, he's just beating on his opponent to the body, to the head. Referee Jay Nady saw enough. So Jared Anderson is now 4-0 with four knockouts. He's got a lot of confidence. He has a lot of growth ahead. And he has time on his side. All right, Dre and Timmy, you get heavyweight prospects in back-to-back -back fights. Size up Guido against Jared. Where do you see these two guys now that you've seen them in back-to-back -back fights? For shape. Conditioning won that fight. Well, I have to say that Anderson, he shows he has a lot of dimensions. You know, you see him fighting Southpaw. You see him digging down to the body, throwing a combination I haven't seen in a while from, from fighters, digging down to the body and then lifting up the uppercut. I saw a great sustainable jab all, you know, for the most part of this fight. And for Guido, you know, I didn't get to see too much of it. You know, I, I like the fact that he had better balance. I like the fact that he had good movement. I love the stiff jab and he set up his right hand and he didn't look reckless like the first time I saw him. So big improvement from Guido. This young man, Anderson, I want to continue to see his growth. If he can take some of the things that we talked about tonight and add it to his game, he's going to continue to get better and better over time. But I Dre, like what I see. Dre's got great yeah. upside, doesn't he? Both of them do. I really don't have a lot of complaints. You could always nitpick and say they should do this or do that. But overall, the presence that they both brought to the ring, the way they handled their business, they were patient. You could see the skill. You could see them thinking. And they both closed the show. Great, great fight from both guys. And I'm excited to see them both in the future. I know you're going to be excited to see your young charge in a moment, Shakur Stevenson. But for now, let's make it official with our second heavyweight fight. Here's Mark Chinook. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jay Nady calls a stop to the bout at one minute and 55 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by technical knockout from Toledo, Ohio, Jared, the real big baby, Anderson! All right, Jared, first time you hear the bell at the end of the first round and the second round, but you didn't hear the bell for that third round because you got him out of there. Uh, what was it like to actually go a couple rounds? Uh, it was amazing. I was happy to finally get a couple more rounds, get a little more experience. Um, I know what it's like to get that much further into a fight, so it, it was a great feeling. Now, you were able to put your, your offense together, but did he land any shots that caught your yeah, attention? Yeah, he, he, he landed a good uppercut on the inside. Uh, I need to look out for that more, uh, leaning in on my head. Uh, but yeah, he caught me with a good uppercut. You know, at the early <laughs> stage of a lot of fighters' careers, they're headhunters looking for that knockout, but you know the art of the work to the body. Where does that come from? Um, just being around great fighters. Uh, Notable Keyshawn Davis, uh, Shakur Stevenson, Albert Bell, Robert Easter Jr., Tyler McCreary, 
um, Dre Wear, just a lot of good fighters, you know what I'm saying? I've been around. Uh, they always go to the body, got great body work, so they just showed me a lot. Uh, another one, Troy Isley, one of the meanest body punchers I know. Uh, he just turned pro, turn, uh, signed with top rank, so yeah, I've been around a lot of good body punchers. Now, you're considered one of the young, hot American prospects at the heavyweight division. How do you deal with that? Um, I don't at all. Uh, I stay humble. I keep working. Um, just trying to be the best I can, uh, listen to my coaches, um, and just keep being great. I know that for you, it's very important to represent Toledo, Ohio, and to be a beacon of hope for them. Uh, what was tonight's performance all about? Um, it was just about showing where I come from, you know what I'm saying, uh, the grit, the grind. Uh, thank you for everybody who helped me get here, because without them, I wouldn't be who I am. Now, I, I know that it's been a strange few days for everybody. The routine has changed for everyone. For yourself, Kay Karoma, uh, your assistant trainer, wasn't able to be here. How'd you deal with that? Um, well, I just kept talking to the, talking to him on the phone. We kept the game plan. He kept um, incorporating and repeating what I need to do, what I should keep up with, stuff like that. So uh, we, we managed. Look forward to seeing you again soon. And Thank you. continue knocking people out. All right, back to you guys.